look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> Tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave. Okay.
She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. I'll come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Start of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographic. Ethical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonists. They intend to undermine local authorities. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell valuable cargo goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. There's something in the water, or in the whiskey. Why do you say that, woman? I think Shay here is skeptical Cannon about our ready. intentions towards our fellow. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be 
a place of safety, development, and nature. It's funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game We're heading of cards. We're heading out for line, sir! Up. He's up! sticks! A trip too! Those are the same! Drop anchor! C'était rien que ton imagination. Charles, hop, tu remplaces Thierry. Il y a deux se remettre de sa blessure. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Attendez. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Compte. Charles, tu remplaces tes rien juste. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Charles, tu remplaces tes rien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Charles, ne remplacez rien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. On double les patrouilles jusqu'à nouvel ordre. Je 
Astérien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Félicien, j'ai une mission spéciale pour vous. Suivez-moi. Charles, je rentre Astérien jusqu'à ce qu'il se remette de sa blessure. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan! Captain's helm! <laughs> Your Captain's ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Gist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. But we will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. 
Otherwise, they will just... Unfurled, mate! Let's move! Coming, 
guns here! Fire! Damnation! Straight to the deep! Chasseur? Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. 
So am I. Don't make me do this, Lachasso. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. That your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. anymore. Not since I met the Colonel. And what's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we root them out. Of course. You're right, Kist. Let's head back to New York. Hi, Captain. Without give a damn, the gale has stopped how hard the wind did blow. We're homeward bound to Sagrand. Don't give a damn when we drink or run with the girls on old Maui. Go down to old Maui. This gale's got teeth, Captain. Fishing off Haysboro Light, shooting and hauling and trolling all night in that windy old weather. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? 
Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. I think it came from over here. Who appointed you Lord of Civil Disturbance? So Good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. 
Yes, just old memories. When I am issued new recruits burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. This prototype seems very powerful. Use it with care, Master Cormac. Our intelligence says this thing can destroy certain fortifications, as well as injure several enemies at once. There is also a more subtle way to use it. Some of these grenades contain a strong sedative. Fire one into the crowd and they will fall asleep immediately. We should test this new weapon. Use it against that door. Use these grenades to destroy that door. You. Good work. Good work. I think you are ready to turn this new weapon against the ruffians who would have used it. There is an abandoned factory nearby hiding a dangerous poison. Right now, it only causes sleep. But I fear those outlaws are distilling it. A more powerful formula could sicken or perhaps even kill most of New York. But that's my first target. Be careful, Master Cormac. We understand that the ingredients are highly unstable. All the better. mess with this. Maybe I can break the whole system.
This is dangerous. I can shoot him. Trying to give us the slip, maggot. Must get out, or I'm as good as dead. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. He just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shay can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> is something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, 
My apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause. And this despite, and perhaps because of, your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Captain has the hill! Get the maid! Find your post, guest. The Colonel's in trouble. How do you mean, in trouble? He's at Fort William Henry, facing impossible odds. Get off your lazy asses, lads, and man your stations! We raise anchor! Sorry for the early libation, Captain. But do you realize that it's been a whole year since we met? A whole year! You changed my life, you did. And for the better. <laughs> you will uh, forgive me if I have been uh, celebrating with us. A whole year. Guest, I have a question for you. How long have you known of my, well, former allegiance? Oh, you mean the assassins? I knew that ages ago, Shay. I may be drunk, but I'm not blind. Or did you think I would assume you had escaped from some homicidal circus? Why didn't you say anything? Yeah. Mates out! Let's go! Well, the Colonel wanted us to avoid the subject so it wouldn't, you know, influence your decision making. You saved my life out of pure selfless instinct and helped countless others besides. If it were up to me, I would have made you an official Templar months ago. You are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Moncada. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncada. The Colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the Colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. I hope I'm not too late.
workmen. That's the last of them. Master Cormac. Sir, we must hurry. We should bring what's left of your man to the Morgan. A welcome offer, Captain Cormac. Follow me. Safe passage is ahead. So if you don't mind me asking, what happened at Fort William Henry? Poor planning and poor luck, I am afraid. Montcalm was able to bombard us for days. Damn frog. Actually, he acted with great honor. When we sent for Parley, he returned an offer far more generous than anticipated. We kept our arms, and more importantly, our colors. Only to walk into a trap. I would hardly expect the French to defend us. Would you? No, I wouldn't. You continue to prove your loyalty to the Templars, Master Cormac. Risking your life for me. We're not out of the woods yet, Colonel. As for my loyalty, well, I do owe you, don't I? You saved my life. Gave me a second chance. We have been working together for a year now. During that time, you have rendered many great services. Whatever debt you imagine you have towards me is paid, would you say? Perhaps. I'll take out as many as I can. Keep your men moving. I'll scout ahead and signal if there's trouble. A sensible strategy. Very well. I will lead my men around slowly.
Hurry. Segawasa will not relent. Segawasa? You know this man, Master Cormac. Aye, Colonel. He is one of Achilles' men. An assassin, as I was. So they know I am a Templar. And now this assassin knows you live. And work with Templars. I'm no fool, Colonel. The assassins will come after me next. We're both targets now. You know that's a trap, right? Indeed, Master Cormac. But we have little choice. We survived French cannons, we will survive this. Captain men, let's get out of here! Move! Move! Chee! I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir. I will accompany you to Johnson's training post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there.
So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. The manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kisigawase is rallying to Storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. Might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. If we are to defeat Kisigawase and his allies, I need to help the Oneida and see what I can do about the French. Johnson stockpiled powder and shot here. Bless him. Just a little more. Requires more rations. We vanquish those French dogs. Such a victory requires more rations. Tonight we drink to the king's health. Get the maids free. Stunts out. Let's get moving. Loose topsails, gallants and royals. 
We're bearing down all those rocks! Brief it on, pups! Spider wakes to... Alert, men. How do I get into that cat? What? <laughs> Here. <laughs> 
Greg. So long as we hold the old woman hostage, these Ornado will not help the English. Thank you. I mean it, sir. Let him think he's losing us. We'll surprise him soon enough. Keep running! Ah! Down you go! Ah. Oh. Pretending to be a pussy cat and come out. Ready to open fire! Stop you! Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here, among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man, 
Would you be so kind as to walk with me? I am called Onata. There is a legend among my people. It tells of how the land under our feet was born and how good and evil came into this world. The Sky Woman scattered her wisdom throughout our land. If you follow her path, you shall learn the true history of our people and perhaps even uncover the reward locked within this cave. If you are the hero I believe you to be. You honor me. Venerable one. It is you who honor us, Shay Patrick Cormac. Farewell. Well, I'm gone, guest. Come on. 
Ready to fire. I can hit him from here. I've got a shot. Watch him sighted. There's a good line on him. There's a good line on him. I've got a shot. You time. You can't escape us. I can hit him from here. You really think you're going at you? Get away from me. Watch him sighted. Segawas's work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Who are you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. Look at Segawas. Templar dog. Burn. Templar dog. Burn. Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Our dog. Yeah. Burn. Templar dog. Do you truly believe you can best me, traitor? Traitor! Kisigawase. It didn't have to be this way. It did. You are an enemy. Achilles will see you dead. What he's doing is wrong. Who are you to touch? The Templars will fail. You will fail. Monroe is already dead. What do you mean? We can halt. Time to die. Colonel 
Colonel was heading for the dock. A huge man with an axe was chasing the Colonel. The manuscript. An assassin took it. Liam, I'll get it back. I swear it. Shay. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. Do you understand now? I'm starting to see why you're so interested in Shay Cormac. Shay has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path accordingly. A similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. <sighs> I'm bored out of my skull. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here.
This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Absurgo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Absurgo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work, but a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Please don't disappoint me like Olivier did. Don't lose your momentum, numbskull. Get to the next server. Francois Macandal saved Baptiste from slavery and inducted him into his so-called brotherhood. Macandal was a vicious mentor, and in his desperate attempt to liberate slaves, he broke his own creed by indiscriminately killing nobles. Misguided as they are, some assassins are honorable. Macandal was not one of them. Thanks to the calculating genius of Madeleine de Lille, the Templars made an example of Macandal by way of public execution in 1758. His pathetic excuse for a brotherhood quickly fell apart. When his comrade and childhood friend Agathe fled to Louisiana, Baptiste saw the futility of his former life in Macandale.
protégé's memories loaded up and ready to go. We are nearly there. Know that you are aiding a worthy cause, even if you do not yet know what it is. I'm just saying that Violet didn't have to yell at us for not fixing the elevator before she did. Ugh, kill me now. Why? I would, but she would just have you brought back to life. Shit. What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Shay's back at Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. You should not have left your backwater. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe.
Everyone is safe and sound. Th these ruffians have followed us. There's more of them. How? How did you do that? It was quite fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the Assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the uh, Lubeberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge... Oh, the old weather. Oh, we trip, we the snows, we're all born together. We sigh to the thrasher, a slash in his tail. Time now, old skipper, to hoist up your sail. In the windy old weather, stormy old weather. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac, 
Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. We'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Predator. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. She's sunk. Fire. Fire! We are clear, Captain. We missed. Captain! Fire! It's a gunboat! They're firing mortars! Incoming fire! We should fire our mortars, Captain! She's done! Fire! Ready those mortars, Shay. always makes, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Yeah! Fire! Stay out of their ring! Fire! Captain, look! Fire! I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would be most advantageous right now. Get out of range! Fire! Fire! Mortars incoming, Shay! Fire! Fire! Go right to the drag! On Fire! Fire. Navy. 
We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Dead when first I see him. Such an ugly bunch I've never seen before. There was a bomb and stiff from every quarter. has the wheel! Crowded all on! Anchors I'm born and our rags are all set. Old Radio, Boomerday. Game Liverpool Julies will never forget. Old Radio, gone away. Goodbye, me darling. Goodbye, me dear. Old Radio, Boomerday. Goodbye, me sweetheart. Goodbye, me dear. Old Radio, gone away. Well, the rain, it is raining all the day long. Old Radio, boom, a lay in the northerly wind. It's a flow so strong. Lift my head, sir. Old Radio, gone away. Goodbye, goodbye.
as we were fishing off Haysboro Light, shooting and Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Atewale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. any efforts to gain firepower. And no offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. She's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Renette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Right. Oh. The point is, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? I'd go to the fort. the fort. Find out what Adewale's doing there. Keep the Morgan close, Gist. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close. And I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Cher. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Get in the water! Come, come! You are quick, boy, but not very clever. You will die as a traitor! You are quick, boy, but not very clever. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shane. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the wars aren't really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. 
They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shay plays. What is our progress on the precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. We've yet to find where Hope is hiding. And most criminals in New York report to her now. I better find the Grand Master. Sir, you want to help us? Uh, 
Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. And the authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big, they couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Get him, Shay. We'll need their clothes. I think we're being followed. You're right. Let's move. Come on! I'm too young to die. Hurry, you fool! Or we're both dead men! make a disgraceful pair of crooks. No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember... You raise the flag, and I'll raise hell! Stop, I tell you. Oi! Stop, you.
What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damn brigands. I make my own luck. Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? You didn't mention you had a hidden blade. You thought you were the only one? Well, yes, I suppose. Where did you get that? It was donated by the Brotherhood. I see. My mission was a success. The army should make its move any time now. Good. We like the resources in New York to handle these criminals ourselves. With a little luck, we might be rid of them once and for all. I make my own luck. Now let us cut off the snake's head. Sir, we can confirm. The woman is inside. Perfect. Time to smoke her out. I'll go in and get hope myself. Very well. Captain Men, fire! Fire! They're shooting back! Fire! Take cover! Take cover! No red coats alive! Time to clean up this city! The men together, soldiers! We've done fire. this a hundred times before! Four mates arms fast! They breached the gate!
We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. You have more endurance than I expected, Shay. What is this? Poison. It slows my heart. I have to move. Ha, ha, ha. 
Do this. I trained you to do this. I expected nothing less. Then why? To give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. 